Ryan, the $86 million for border security was approved by the Texas Legislative Budget Board, one of the main items on the agenda, replacing National Guard units with state troopers, 600 more to be exact. You may remember in July, Governor Rick Perry ordered up to 1,000 guardmen to the Rio Grande Valley. Now those units will head home by April and be replaced by additional state troopers and surveillance cameras along the border. State Representative Renee Oliveira agrees with the move, saying the original idea to militarize the border had a negative impact on the valley. We've always wanted more law enforcement, but militarization of the border uh, is ridiculous. It doesn't accomplish anything and it is a great waste of taxpayer dollars. Um, having more law enforcement is good. We need to send a message to drug runners and traf human traffickers and others that we've got people out there looking for you. While most support the National Guard's removal from border towns, some Republicans worry they may be needed because of what they call unintended consequences of President Barack Obama's executive action on immigration. While Oliveira agrees with Perry's decision to add security to the border, he believes it may be politically motivated as Perry sets his eye on the run for presidency. In the newsroom, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News.